Salam, it's Amin, and in today's video, I would like to share with you a project that I have been working on for the past couple of weeks. So unlike the previous projects that I have shared with you in my YouTube channel, this one is special because this one is neither an academic nor a competition project. And now you might be asking why I'm speaking in English. Basically because this project is meant for everyone and you will understand why in the next minutes. So the project is called Tarikh, a mobile application designed to connect people, especially Moroccan youth, with the rich culture and history of Morocco, whether it's discovering a traditional folks, proverbs, stories, basically you hold a whole culture in your pocket. So how did it all start? Basically the idea came from a class presentation. We were asked to create a solution or a simple prototype, whether it's a web application or a Figma design. Even though the idea was simple, I challenged myself to create a mobile app. And just to put you in the context, I have never built a mobile application before. So I saw it as a great opportunity to build a mobile application from scratch. And even if the prototype was kinda bad, this, this one here, but I got familiar with how to create a mobile application. And the cool part here, it's not about how all this uh, prototype was coded, but the idea how technology and culture can connect to create a solution. Many people ask how can culture or technology interact with each other. And this project simply demonstrates how can technology or AI or software engineering can help to spread the Moroccan culture among the youth or among non-Moroccan people. And since every project must solve a problem, Tariq solves a big one. Speaking for myself, many times I don't understand the folks or the proverbs or even their meaning. And the second problem, we want to share and spread our culture and give a good representation. So Tariq solves that. Basically, you have multiple folks, proverbs, and also their meaning. And to make it easy for people and the non-Moroccan people, you can see the folks and the proverbs either in English or French or Arabic because it's for everyone. So basically, this is the mobile app. This is Tariq. First of all, you have the authentication page. Like, you can sign up, put your full name and your email and your password. And if you have an error, of course, I'm going to display a message error in a cool way. Okay, now I'm authenticated. Now, let's see the home page. So in home page, I have a welcome message and I have a city section. And you know, with the help of a friend of mine, we completed the Casablanca section. Like we have right now a PDF file. We have the architecture, the history of Casablanca. But it took us so much time. So right now we just have Casablanca. We don't have the Rabah or Marrakesh. Uh, or Marrakesh or the other cities. Here we have the proverbs. Like here, we have the proverb, don't put your hand into a hole so the snake don't bite you. Okay, and here we have the meaning of the proverb. Like this proverb warns against getting involved in situations that don't concern you. Okay, and here we have some suggestions like proverbs, stories, or even folks. And like you see here, you have the ability to add to favorite. Okay, so I added this uh, proverb into my favorite. I can turn back. Okay, this is proverb uh, section. This is the tradition section, like the mint tea ritual, like, like Morocco is well known with the tea. And here the folk section, like you have the book and shop. And here I have a section like five cool facts about Morocco. Okay, uh, like here we have the University of uh, Al Qarawiyin, the oldest university in the world. And here we have a little description about the Tariq application. And here in the history screen, we have the most important event that has happened in Morocco, like the foundation of Fas, and here the Moroccan independence and the Green March. But we have always the possibility to add more events. Okay, and here I have an AI assistant. So basically, like uh, I love the use of AI in my application. So here I added uh, a chatbot, like uh, this chatbot is like an expert about the Moroccan history. I used uh, the Gemini Flash 2.0 API uh, because it's free. And here you can ask him anything you want about uh, Morocco. And send. Here the chatbot answered my question. 
like here the foundation of the first Moroccan Islamic State, spread of Islam and Arabic culture, establishment of fast. And the cool part here that this chatbot adapt to the language of the user. And I'm going to show you this feature after. And here, like for the folk tales, like here you have all the popular stories, all the proverbs, all the traditions. Like uh, this is, is all. Uh, you have the proverb, you can filter by the proverb. Like here you have 20 proverbs. Here you have five stories. Shamharush. And here you have uh, nine traditions. Like the Minty, Fantasia, uh, Berber Village, Hammam traditions, and uh, Hanna artistry. And you can see more information if you click on them. And you can also add them to your favorites. Also, you have the profile section, like you can change your image, change your name, change your location if you want. And here you have the saved item. So don't put your hand. And here you can also uh, filter, like I have one proverb, one folktale, and two traditions. And here you can change the mode, like uh, the dark mode, the light mode. Like here is the light mode. But I'm gonna stick with the dark mode. And here you can change the language, like, and here you have uh, the French language, like uh, Rituel du Thé à la Med, Mystique de la Medina. And you can also uh, change it to Arabic, like uh, this one, Medir Siddik Friran, Dashmiad Dukh Shlhnusha. And here the chatbot, uh, like this chatbot can adapt uh, to the language of the user. And basically, that's the prototype of the application right now. Uh, Tariq is in the version 1.1, .1. like I'm aiming to make it even better in the future. And that was the application. So the tech stack that I used was simply React Native and Expo. Why React Native? Simply because I have knowledge with React. And I didn't want to waste time learning Dart and Flutter. Even if Flutter was a good choice, I couldn't waste time to learn because I wanted to ship fast. And the problem here is that I don't know the difference between React and React Native. And I have never built a mobile application, like I said before. So what I did, basically I watched a course by JavaScript Mastery, how to create a mobile app with React Native and Expo. I learned the basic stuff. And then I jumped to create this application with the help of some AI tools like Copilot and uh, Cloud. Because I believe in order to learn a programming language, you must jump to create a project, not to waste time in tutorials. And don't get me wrong, I know the importance of tutorials, but watching multiple tutorials, in the end you're gonna find yourself in tutorial hell. So basically you watch multiple tutorials, but you never build something. And for the backend side, I used uh, something called Superbase. It's similar to Firebase, is a backend as a service. Basically because I don't have complex logic behind the app. Basically I have just the authentication part and some CRUD operations. And for the struggles that I have faced, simply was something called RTL and LTL. Right to left and left to right. So basically what this means, you need to adjust the design of your application based on the language that the user uses. So, for example, if an Arabic user used my app, I must show the text from the right to the left, and not just the text, but also the images, the cards, and the design for the whole application. But the hardest part was not in the coding part, but was about the content. So, like, how can I find those folks and proverbs, and how to translate them in French or English? And moreover, my application now don't have a lot of content, but if I want to add more, I need to read about Moroccan culture. I need to know exactly if this information is correct or not, because I don't want to add a false information into my application. And that's why if you are interested in this application, we might collaborate in the future. So I'm going to put my emails, LinkedIn and my other socials. If you want to collaborate with me and building Tariq to become a big application and in the end, Tariq, it's not just a mobile application. It's a bridge that connects generations and Moroccan youth with their culture and history. It's basically a portal to let everyone discover our culture, Moroccan culture. Currently, I'm working on to publish this application 
into Play Store. And really, I want to know your feedback about this application. You may tell me the features that you liked or the features that, that you didn't like. Tell me your feedback so I can improve my application. If you want to collaborate with me in this application, whether you are a student or an institute, I'm gonna leave my emails in the description so you can connect with me. And ladies and gentlemen, that was the video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, leave a comment, like, and subscribe in my YouTube channel. And see ya in another video.